What was at stake, and what did that game tell you? That Giannis is the guy in the NBA. The NBA is his. Like, I'm, I'm giving him the crown right now. Now, you guys know how analytical I am as it relates to how athletes, I think, think of the best ultimate skill set. But there's nobody more dominant than this dude in the game. Like he, So dominance has to equate to the best in the game, right? Uh, and what I've seen from Giannis in this three-way head-up matchup against KD this year when they've been able to meet, Giannis averaging 34, 12, 7 on 59% oh. shooting. Filthy. Now, I get it. It's with the caveat that for a couple of those games, Kyrie wasn't there at home. But I'm just from watching this matchup and last year with what Giannis did last year and Kevin Durant, even though he had an incredible game, missing that shot down the stretch to, to win the game, right? And then seeing KD miss shots last night and see Giannis, Giannis with that snatchback three to send it into overtime, that's reminiscent of KD. I feel like Giannis's game is ascending, where I feel like KD's game is kind of hovering. And KD's hovering game- Hovering in the clouds. Hovering I mean, in the clouds. High. In the upper echelon. Yeah. But Giannis is, he's still coming. And his skill set is getting better and better and better. Look at the matchup. Last five head-to-head matchups, the numbers speak for itself. 5-0 Giannis. Yeah, see, but, that, no, but that ain't fair, though, Jay. You know why it ain't fair in the win and losses? Because KD was under man in some of those uh, victories with Giannis. They, he didn't have his full Arsenal team. Middleton was playing in those games, things of that nature. Holiday was playing in those games. So that wouldn't be a fair comparison on the 5-0. and zero. I understand what you're talking about as far as Giannis stepping up and hitting those threes and doing it last night, the step back three. But KD did he, drain three free throws. He missed that shot at the end. But guess what they're doing? And I meant to ask you this during our pre-show meeting. I couldn't get it in. They were blitzing him and running at him from all angles and forcing KD to make some bad shots down the stretch. So that's more on Bootenhoser than it is on Giannis and what they were doing. Oh, you mean on KD? They're blitzing KD down the stretch? Down the stretch. Well, you, you know why? I mean, you can do that. When you don't have the pieces around yeah, your that's, team, that's, that's, what I, that's, that's what I was saying. What I'm saying that it's unfair to him. It's not on unfair. The that's the way you play basketball. Key. By the way, Giannis. The way you play, by the way, they blitz Giannis down the stretch. You know what Giannis did? He passed it to Bobby Portis. He made a play. He passed it to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday made that a play. Speaks to Chris what's Middleton him, wasn't in the game. He actually got ejected on the foul he had on Bobby Brown. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's all. That, uh, it's also personnel that you have with your can team. Can we put as the well. stats back on the screen for a second? I want to show you guys something. It's not just that it's five zero Giannis key. Giannis is averaging more points, a lot more boards, about the same assists, and shooting better from the field. They're different kinds of players. I Max, get he's that. averaging two points more. Man. Yeah, right. That ain't okay. like he's but that's a, 10 he's more. A, but no, it's a bucket more. It's it's four more rebounds. The assists are even, and it's ten percent better from the field. He's in. The, he's down low more so than KD. So he's gonna get more rebounds. Uh, okay, yeah, well, he's but that's well, what the stats well, say. He's punishing people. And by the way, KD was guarding him last night for a majority of the game. I mean, Giannis was taking it to the rack. Here's where Key I struggle. I was talking to Max about it this morning. So for me, like when I look at Gian, I look at Giannis. There's nobody that's going to stop him. Like, there, there's no game plan. You can't load up in the paint anymore. My alone. man shooting the ball from the outside with the confidence of Kevin Durant. He's going to the free throw line. Remember we used to count to 13 last year? Yeah, he on his free, free throw. throw. He just goes up there, bang, bang now. But for me as an athlete, sometimes I see the best as the ultimate complete skill set. And I'm still willing to say that the ultimate complete skill set, KD's skill set is still, it's unquestionable. I haven't seen it. But the dominance of Gian- Giannis is making me think I'm starting to equate dominance towards I, the best I have now. a pro. I see, this is the thing. He's and silky, I noticed though. With- That's the thing with Who? KD, though. It's KD, silky, man. But exactly. But this is the thing I noticed with ballers, right? You all are ballers, right? They, you analyze skills, and you want to check every box. He can do this, he can do that, and that's KD. But to me, however you do it, if it's because you're tall, if it's because you're wide, mm-hmm. if it's because you have a long reach, whatever it is, if it's because you're down low, I don't care. I care about the results, even if it's ugly. Like, Key, you'll talk about the way Jokic looked. You get the results, yes or no. So, so Giannis is getting the results. So if that makes him number one, then that makes him number one, even if it feels unfair because KD can do more. But I want to bring this up because you guys brought up the context of the team. KD did something that, took, for me, took a lot of heart. First, he's in goal. he sets himself up in Golden State, right? And you kind of backdoor your way into championships. He balled out in the finals, but come on, man. You add KD to that team, of course they're not going to lose. Then he's like, you know what? I did that. Now I'm going to Brooklyn, and I'm going to light my own torch, right? Put my own team together and do it. 
So he went out of his comfort zone to do this. Giannis had a team built around him. He does have an advantage right now. You know, KD is playing with less right now than Giannis well, well, at the K moment. KD should have been playing with Kyrie last year. I think they would have actually won that series. But that's why I brought up that it's unfair to, to point to but, certain things because he's not playing with a full deck. But but it's, key, it's, it's, but key, if if was the fifth, we all be drunk, right? So like it, it, I hear what we're saying, if, but it is what it no, is. No, I understand. And, you deal with the cards. You deal with the hand that you dealt. I get it. Here's I my get it. here's my other thing, Key. I would ask you, right? Regardless of whatever could happen, like it's like battles back in the day of, of different religions, right? Like, who owns the power? Who got the power? It's hard for me to tell you that Giannis doesn't got the power. He just took Constantinople. He, he won a world championship. He had 50 and 14 in game six of the NBA finals, regardless if you want to give me the caveat while he's going against his sons. And now they're on, they're ascending back to the number one seat again. And here's what I like about it. When last night you saw the Philadelphia 76ers lose to Detroit, it brings out the conspiracy theorists. Oh, they're running away from the number one seed. And I'm not saying I believe it, but it's out there because they don't want to play against Brooklyn. I see Milwaukee running towards the number one seed. Like, okay, fine. Let's play Brooklyn. Please, as a basketball fan, give me seven games of that. I give would me say, seven games uh, th of this is what I'm saying. I still think, I think the, the LeBron was an undisputed champ for like 10 years. I think the crown is, is fractured right now. It's not, undis not unified, right? Different guys have different pieces of the crown. I think KD got a piece, Giannis got a piece, and these playoffs maybe will start to suss that out. Mm. I would still have KD number one. I think if they were on comparably talented teams, I would prefer KD's team, but they're not. The fact is Giannis keeps getting them head-to-head, -head, and you can make a hell of a case for Giannis as number one in the game right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.